Hi, I'm Jeanette Rinicki, and welcome to Everyday Leadership, where we are highlighting student leaders here on campus. Today, we are here with um, Jim Bradley. Hi, and welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Not too bad. Almost Thanksgiving. I'm ready for that. I'm ready to get, uh, get something to eat. I'm, I'm starving. I can't, I'm ready for a home-cooked meal. Great. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all, what your major is at Ryder and what you're involved in here. Okay, well, I'm a marketing major. I'm a senior, so I'm on my way out. But uh, um, I'm also the captain of the Ryder men's soccer team, um, and I am the president of the Student Athlete Mentors Club. Um, that kind of deals with, like, issues within the athletic department that students want changed, athletes want changed, and we kind of uh, go from there and, and work with the athletic department in, in making things better for the athletes in general. Wow, sounds really cool. Take us through your leadership journey at Ryder. Like, where did you start, and how did you um, become captain? <laughs> well, looking back on it, it seems like it was only yesterday, but um, freshman year I came in. I was the captain of my high school team senior year, um, but that kind of is, is not that hard of a job. It's kind of they just give it to the seniors. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had some leadership role in that sense, but not so much. Came in freshman year, um, there, the captain at the time was a fantastic captain, and I, he kind of took me under his wing. Um, freshman year, kind of just kept quiet, did my job, didn't really get involved in anything. Uh, sophomore year, he started kind of, I guess, seeing that I could have the potential to be a leader. Kind of grew me a little bit, got me involved in some organizations and whatnot. And then he graduated and come into um, my spring of sophomore year, I kind of started feeling a little bit comfortable with the guys and, and, and being a leader. So they kinda, I felt like they were kind of looking to me. Um, got the captain job uh, going into my junior year. Came in, I was very nervous. The guy said I didn't show up, but I was extremely nervous. Um, and I, I really just uh, kind of just went with the flow, kind of just was, didn't try to change what I did. Um, the guys kind of liked what I, how what I was handling the job. And then coming into it senior year, um, it was a little bit more difficult. We had a little bit of a tougher year senior year. But um, there's different ways you have to handle certain guys. I tried to do that, and uh, you know it wasn't the best of seasons, but we uh, we've made it through, and uh, you know I, I I'm pretty satisfied with the job I've done. Wow. So what are the three things you value as like a leader? Like what um, does it take to be a leader? To be a leader, um, in an athletic sense, uh, one thing I would definitely say is knowing your 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 athletes, knowing your your teammates. Um, different guys handle different situations in certain ways. Um, some guys can take criticism, no problem. Some guys don't really handle it so well. Uh, so one thing I definitely have to say is that you have to understand um, your, your teammates and how they handle certain situations and where you, where you go with if there is an issue. Hopefully there's not, but there always mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. uh, where, if there is an issue, how to handle it with certain guys. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things. Um, other things is being personable, being, a, being able, be able to be approached by your guys. Some guys don't want to talk to a coach about something. They'd rather talk to the captain. Um, and I've had some guys come to issues you know, with me, and, uh, and you know, we handle it, and they, they feel comfortable being able to talk to me. So that makes things a lot better, uh, being able to be approachable by your teammates and whatnot, so Absolutely. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how have you developed leadership intentionally? Have you done any conferences or seminars or anything like that? Well, like I said, I worked with the, the captain from beforehand, and uh, you know, I just saw things that he did that I, I really like, you know, liked as, as being an under, undergrad. Um, and I, I, so I try to work on things, and then I realize some of the, what, th what he did, the guys I didn't like. So I would try to work on that and, you know, work on what he did good, do that, and then change on the things I thought he should change. And, and I kind of came out with my own, own way of being a leader. Um, after I actually got the job, um, spring of junior year, I went to a NCAA leadership conference held at uh, University of Virginia. Um, and, and, you know, that taught me some things about the do's and don'ts and how to handle certain situations and, and how to take things and do them yourself or how to also ask other people for some help in, in certain situations. So other than that, that's the only, uh, that's the only thing I've done to kind of groom me to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like it worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to students coming into Rider on, like, beginning their leadership journeys? Um, don't try to put too much on yourself at once. Uh, if, you're being, if you're young, coming into athletics or non-athletics, uh, don't try to do everything at once. Kind of, if you're a freshman, you know, get used to it. Know the role at first. Sophomore year, kind of get into it. Then junior and senior is when you really, you know, step up and you, you kind of get into your own of being a leader. And also, if you are a leader, be your own leader. Don't try to do what someone else does. Look at what other people do and kind of work on that, but then kind of put your own twist on it and, and make it your own type of leadership. That's I feel like great. that's the best way people react to it. So Yeah, that's great advice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for coming in today, Jim. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you. Thank you. 
Well, that's it for us today. Stay tuned for our next segment of Everyday Leadership. And remember that one day we might be able to spotlight you.